Okay, it's on. All right. Oh, my God. Okay. So as some of you might know, for anybody who watches this channel, <clears throat> the show, I freaking um got this internet problem where it goes off at 5, comes back on at 11 at night, Pacific Standard Time. So I'm like, okay. No big. I handle it. I'm a night owl anyway. And Hulu doesn't come in until 3 o'clock in the evening. Some shows I watch aren't even on non-cable. And... Because they covered DSL, my freaking, um, my stupid thing, my converter box went out, so I can't even record on my VCRs anymore. I mean, boo hoo, you know, right? Ball with me here for a minute. Just setting up the premise. Let me hear it. There's a reason I'm eating a cookie, too. <clears throat> I'll explain it. Yes, I will. Anyway, the point of all that is, I got the habit of getting up and taking my medicine at 11 and friggin' basically starting my day, you know? At 11 at night. Yes, that's right. So, this is the point of this whole thing of why I'm up. So I sleep from 11, I stay up from 11 to 5 in the morning. You know, kind of happy. Friggin', and, you know, and the thing is, is that I'm going along, and I'm like, this is what I do all the time now, is I get, I try to sleep from 5 to 11, and then you kill that time out. You know, because I can't record a show, and most of it I get on Hulu anyway, except some of it makes you wait a week to friggin' watch it for what's on broadcast. That's suckeroony. But, oh uh, well. So, boo hoo, right? But I'm sitting there. So I go to sleep at 5 this morning. And I'm like, okay. I just spent my last 20 bucks. I got some more money coming in a little bit. But I wasn't sure if it was going to get here. I do some odd jobs for my mother's friend who owns the place. Uh, and, you know, but luckily, you know, that's pretty much busy money. And luckily, it's going to come through this time. So, yay. That I can pay child support because I just spent the last twenty bucks, friggin' for frigging food, which doesn't get you much, but I can make it last with friggin' potatoes and rice and butter and friggin' uh, hot dogs and a little broccoli. Yeah, I've done that for friggin' two weeks. Two scoops of friggin' rice, a tater, and a friggin' quarter stick of butter and friggin'. A uh, friggin' three snips of broccoli. That's dinner again for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, I've done it. You know, hey, I won't admit lie. I'm friggin' there, right? But that's cool. I I'm, you know, I'm eating. I'm happy. I got tea. I got tea. <laughs> you know. Ooh, I gotta about change this bottle. This bottle's getting ranky. I keep watching it out and friggin' I just let the tea sit because it's cold now. Because I don't use heat. I just bundle. Right? So I got a pet. Except the chicken. But I got to build a chicken coop for that stupid chicken. Anyway. I feel bad about that. But anyway. Um, so I'm going along. And the phone rings. And it's my mom's friend. Who's also the landlord. And she goes... Timmy, I don't know why, but the plumber's here! I'm like, Oh, no! Shit's happening again! No! No! It's five! It's daylight! 
Ah, the day. The day it curses me. I hate the day. So, okay. I'm going, why? There's nothing wrong. I'm, you know, I still about ten times more disheveled. My hair is all freaking screwed up, right? You know, that's how I'm on the phone, but I'm going to have to be freaking answering the door for somebody, right? And I'm like, okay. And she goes, well, I don't know why, you know. And then freaking uh, Mateo, uh, her, um, the person who freaking, I go freaking do some work for and her foreman for when they used to do houses and stuff. And guy who sometimes gives me free food and stuff. Because they get it from uh, 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 um, a school, something. You know, Meals on Wheels. Oh, and I got to talk about a separate video sometime about the Meal on Wheel deal, right? They got, I got to eat all these freaking TV dinners from him one time. And that's pretty cool, you know? Because I can freaking throw it in a freaking my staple of freaking rice, potatoes, and freaking uh, butter. And broccoli and friggin' make a kind of a friggin' meal out of the thing, right? Yeah, this is Timmy's friggin' Republicus, the friggin' hero of the friggin' new world friggin' life, you know. I'm winning! You know, friggin' leprolatariat style, I guess. Anyway, in other words, friggin' Kid Rock friggin' ghetto. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm like, she goes, he chimes in, he goes, You got a bunch of food! And I'm like, Oh, free food! Oh, hell yeah! Whoa, not a problem! ding a ding a ding You know, they're at the door now, so I'm just shoveling, I'm getting the robe and putting it on and bring it on. Ah! ah food, food! Bah! The bear is fucking coming out of the cave. Ah! Where's the food? Ah! So, man, and he hands me... They give me friggin' a refrigerator full of friggin' TV dinners, a huge box of friggin' all kinds of friggin' juices and friggin' cans and friggin' uh, ramens and friggin' about $100 worth of food. I mean, you know, you think that Food Locker stuff is cheap. It's cheap and it's old. But you go to the shelf and you freaking add it up. I mean, just on the prices, even discount in a discount store. And it's not cheap. It's really not. Okay, maybe 50 bucks. You know, still, 50 bucks I didn't have. And all those TV dinners, I'll get back to them, but there's something wrong with them. I don't know. I don't, I don't think Meals and Wheels is doing people right. Because some of those make me... They really got too much high content... Um... Salt content... Or sugar or something... But wow... They kind of freaking impact me... You know? I mean... Not to look at give horse in the mouth... But... They get those for somebody... Who doesn't need them... And they give them to me... Because that's nice... And I appreciate it... But for the people who are supposed to be getting those... It shouldn't have to be friggin' shut-ins and shit like that. I go, well, like me, you know. Um, they freaking um, that worries me. That does, you know. I mean, those should be healthier foods. I don't know. Anyway, so, you know, all this, right? This is the guy who friggin' fixed my thing when I had the water crisis. And this is the other guy who friggin' remodels shit. Oh, and this house is nice, right? Everything I should get my friggin' ass up and do because friggin' I got friggin' paint and tools and friggin' materials everywhere and I friggin' haven't organized anything or I'd 
freaking have my house looking like a palace too. I didn't feel like crap shit fuck. Yeah. But oh well. That's life. Right? But thank you, Mexicans. You know, glad to know I want you to freaking go back to the border. Stop displacing me. There's their guilt. I admit it, you know. I argue with these people online about this shit. But credit where credit's due. Right? Oh, by the way, this was brought to you by Ritz Crackers. Hmm. The treat snack. I tried some of this shit, too. This thing would have cost like 75 cents. But that little bit I ate. Isn't that ridiculous? And the guy goes, oh, oh I, I got it from church. Oh, um, here, I got you something else, too. That's the whole point of the fucking Betty, all right? What am I supposed to say as an atheist? I mean, I went to the public food locker. I've been, I've been skipping. I'm not going friggin' to friggin' church food lockers. Because, really? Because I felt kind of hypocritical for doing it. I mean, I have. I, you know, I'd rather see little blue friggin' dots in front of my friggin' eyes and shit because I'm a diabetic than friggin' go to a friggin' church food locker. Not because I hate God, but because. I feel bad that, you know, I'm not going to believe in something that's not there, but, hey, credit where credit's due, you know? And, you know, at least I'm not in a friggin' room in India getting starved by Mother Teresa, right? But what did they have me? <clears throat> have hope! Hope for change! Yes! Hope for change with the New Testament. Gotta hand it to me. Oh, do you want it? I'm like, and he's kind of like, nah. He's like, kind of pulling it away. I'm like, screw it. I'll take it. Well, I took it because I knew I was going to make a video about it. But, you know, hey. Fuck it. Credit where credit is due. You know? As an objectivist and someone else, I'll freaking admit it. You know what I mean? And I don't know, and that means what it means because, in relation to everything in the world, but in my personal life, hey, worked for me. You know, guess you can't trust the freaking, uh, what the hell is that fucking stupid Marxist term? the Lisbon proletariat because they'll friggin side with the bourgeois I read this shit on Wikipedia I'm fucking up the whole wording I'm no fucking Marxist so fuck them but friggin they'll friggin side with the bourgeois when it's convenient you know I never believe that shit I believe friggin charity starts at the bottom up and it reads opportunity you know but no no, 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 no. No, now I've got all this food. Oh, I'm so thankful. And I am thankful, really, you know. To the freaking remodeler and the freaking plumber who are doing what I should be doing, right? And a handyman's son, you know. Who is an atheist? I think my mother was more religious, but just kind of dropped it, because no one else was. With the good news! The good news. Yes. The hope for change! Well, it doesn't say change, but I'm just throwing in change, because I feel like saying that. So. Your thoughts. Rip. Public has out. 